Tukunghayan ang mga kwentong may kinalaman sa ating kasaysayan. Palaguin ang inyong kaalaman at kamalayan sa mga napapanahong isyu na pinag-uusapan. Narito na ang Fact on Track sa podcast. Sayang kaalaman at mga napapanong usapin sa Lipunan Fact on Track sa podcast. So dating gawin, mapapakinggan pa rin tayo every Thursday sa ating mga audio platforms sa Spotify, Anchor, Pocket Cast, Google Podcast, and sa Red Circle. So link in the Red Circle ay nasa description natin. And sa mga video platforms natin, sa YouTube and sa Facebook, mapapanood din tayo every Thursday sa ating YouTube channel, Podcast ni Mans, and ganoon na rin sa ating Facebook page na Podcast ni Mans. So, for today, tayo ay nasa part 3 ng ating Halloween series entitled Curse. So, ano ba pag-uusapan natin? So, nung last week, last Thursday, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa sinumpang obra ni Juan Luna, yung Portrait of a Lady, And nung Friday naman sa GPS Podcast, pinag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa monumento ni Lapu-Lapu na di umano'y isinumpa dun sa, sa Cebu. So for today, pag-uusapan natin ay mga kanta. Ooh, sinumpang kanta. Hmm, ano kaya yung mga kanta na? So without further ado, tara, let's dig deeper to those songs. Fact on Track sa podcast. So first in our playlist, we have Frank Sinatra's 1969 hit, My Way. So don't Released in 1969, My Way is a song from Frank Sinatra's album with the same name, My Way. So self-entitled, al- so self-titled album. Oh. The music was taken from the French song, Comma W2, which was written by Claude Francois and Jacques Bravo. Sorry, sorry if I butchered my French. <laughs> anyway, hindi talaga ako, hindi talaga ako into French. No? So anyway, so after hearing the French version, Paul Anka, Paul Anka flew to Paris to get the rights of the song. He would then acquire adaptation, recording, and publishing rights for just. One dollar. Pero malaki siguro ang value ng one dollar nun. Which means he can use the melody of a song for another one. Which in turn gave birth to my way. So he used the melody of the song of Com W2 to make the compose my way. So in his mind, it was really Frank Sinatra na naisip niya to sing the his composition. So because of this, because of this agreement. Francois and Revol were also credited for the song, so, we're, so they were in the songwriting credits. In 1969, My Way peaked 28th in Canada RPM Top Singles, 2nd in Canada RPM Easy Listening, 4th on Ireland, 5th on UK Singles OCC, 27th in, build, in US Billboard Top 100, 2nd in US Billboard Easy Listening, and 29th in US cash box top 100 now this now for context these rankings are the highest the song has attained in the following chart so ito yung pinaka matataas nila na natin so yun nga for example sa US Billboard Hot 100 they they rank 27th yun yung peak nila in 2021 it peaked at 40th in Hungary singles top 40 Meanwhile, the song was certified gold in Italy, FIMI, and in United Kingdom, BPI. Although My Way become Frank, became Frank Sinatra's signature song, his daughter Tina stated that he, Frank Sinatra, hated the song. She stated that the song, according to, his, according to her father, was self-serving and self-indulgent. Of course, I've heard that I've listened to the lyrics, no, and na ang na figure out ko sa lyrics is it's very me-centered, it's very 
person centered kung sino man yung kumakanta like it's pointing towards me kaysa kung yara ko yung kumakanta it's pointing towards me kaya nga sabi diba sa dulo and did it my way ano lang bit lang ng lyrics so sabi and did it my way so syempre it's pointing towards me kaya ano and feeling ko hindi siguro nagustuhan yun yun ang hindi siguro nagustuhan ni Frank Sinatra na masyadong masyado siyang me first me 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 it's only about me now sa Pilipinas syempre hindi mawawala yung mga video okay? hindi mawawala yung mga kantahan lalo kapag alimba pre-pandemic yung mga yung mga kantahan lalo kapag may handaan hindi mawawala yun hindi hindi ano yun can't miss yun and kapag may handaan most of the time merong mga video okay? and, and syempre kapag may handaan din at the same time merong mga nagiinuman now here in the Philippines my way is one of if not the most dreaded song to sing in karaoke Bakit? To put it simply, Esquire Philippines stated that alcohol-induced annoyance or naiinis siya dahil lasing and off-tune singing are key elements on people being murdered by singing that song. Siyempre, lasing ka, tapos yung kumakanta nung kanta na yun ay lasing din, tapos walang-wala pa sa tono. Siyempre, naiinis ka, naiinis ka muna and and in some cases unfortunately naaabot sa pagkamatay now meanwhile an article from historyofyesterday.com suggested two reasons behind my way killings the song's nature of pride and arrogance and mere coincidence so sinabi ko na rin kanina no kung bakit kung bakit ayaw ni Frank Sinatra nung kanta na to dahil yung nature niya ng pride and arrogance so you may check the lyrics pwede nyo i-search yung lyrics sa internet ano and dun nyo malalaman kung ano yung pinagsabi namin dito na yung nature ng kanta is pride and arrogance na it's me first and mere coincidence so parang nataon ganun pero ano eh medyo occurring din eh actually maraming ang article sa internet ako nabasa na talagang may mga nangyayaring ganito So, na-solve na na, number one, medyo mababaw po to do. Na-solve na natin yung mystery behind bakit may mga napapatay sa kantang My Way. So, recap lang natin bakit kung ano, recap lang natin. May mga napapatay sa My Way dahil may mga kumakanta na wala sa tono at may mga nakikinig naman nala, mga minsan yung iba lasing and naiinis kaya in the end, yung iba napapatay nila yung kumakanta sa sobrang inis. Now, next. Next on our playlist is the infamous, the dreaded, the quote-unquote most dangerous song in the world, Gloomy Sunday. To begin with, Gloomy Sunday is not really English. So, hindi talaga siya sinulat in English. Just like, I think, in my way kasi ginawa na lang English version eh. It was a Hungarian song composed by Rajo Ceres and was published in 1933. Originally, The lyrics were were titled Vige a Vilyagnak Vilyagnak I don't know how to pronounce it properly kasi Hungarian nga yun, which translates to The World is Ending that sings about the sadness created by the war I think World War I at ito or World War II World War II concluded in a prayer about the sins of mankind So yun, yun yung original na pinagmula nung kanta na yun about nung sa song na yun na The World Is Ending in English ha which sings about sa mga nangyari nung sa war now the English lyrics was written by Sam M. Lewis and it was first recorded in English by Mel Kemp in 1936 however the most popular version of the song was sung by Billy Holiday and was released in 1941 In an article published by BookViewCafe.com, the song was described as the most dangerous song in the world. According to the article, Ceres broke up with his girlfriend on a Sunday. Now, out of sadness, he wrote Gloomy Sunday, according to this article. Ha? However, because of the borderline depression, actually, I don't consider it borderline because it's just flat out depressing kung if if you're ano kung mentally tough kayo 
go check it but I won't recommend that hindi ko may suggest yan dito na i-check that kasi kung mahina loob mo I don't think anyway out of sadness he wrote Bloomy Sunday however because of his borderline and depressing lyrics the first publisher rejected the composition so dahil nga sobrang lungkot niya eh. hindi naman digo dahil sa music pero dahil talaga sa lyrics while the second publisher na pinagpasahan niya committed suicide so ito na yon medyo malapit-lapit na tayo the second publisher committed suicide take note of that and the third one however saw the song's potential and published it across Europe so yung pangatlong kompo, yung pangatlong publisher nun is hmm may, buka, may potential tong kanta na to it's published this across Europe now Urban legend has it that extremely melancholic lyrics of the song can induce depression leading to suicide. So, kung nabasa nyo na to before yung lyrics niya or i-attempt nyo palang nabasahin, spoiler, masyadong dark yung lyrics niya. Upon reading the lyrics, I've come to the conclusion na it was about depression and suicide. In fact, may isang snippet na sa isang lyric, sa isang, isang self-made na isang, hindi sa, ano, isang lyric video sa YouTube. Nabasa ko dun sa picture na yun, isang part ng lyrics na yun, yung, yung version ni Billie Holiday, says, dun sa part na yun ng lyrics, sabi, My heart and I want to, wants to end it all. So, yo, 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 we're, we're getting out of hand here. According to Ranker.com, the song is allegedly related to more than a hundred suicides and that the composer, Renzo Ceres, took his own life as well. Pero hindi after niya compose, later on in his life. It has also been rumored that the woman whom the Hungarian poet wrote Gloomy Sunday for also took her own life. However, it was also reported that the original Hungarian song pertains to the horrors of the concentration camps by the by the Nazi Germany back in the back in the time. Okay, so yun yung according to ranker.com yun yung yun yung meron daw dun sa kanta na yun. So, and the basa ko rin uh, in that same article na the song is really about suicide. Oh, go check it with yourself. Due to its lyrics, British Broadcasting Corporation banned Billie, Billie Holiday's version of Gloomy Sunday for the reason of being detrimental to wartime morals. So, ano siguro, parang instead na maging matapang siguro or contrary siya sa ano, yung sa wartime moral nun. The ban, however, was lifted in 2002. Now, the story behind the song became the subject of a 1999 German-Hungarian film In Lied von Liebe und Tod which translates to German yun, which translates to Gloomy Sunday, a song of love and death. Also, the associates of that band covered the song on their album Sulk that was released on May 14, 1982. As the urban legend has it, the Associates lead singer Billy McKenzie committed suicide on May 22, 1997. So, and that's the story behind the songs My Way and Gloomy Sunday. At kung bakit sila infamous and kung bakit, lalo yung Gloomy Sunday, and bakit sobrang dreaded nung kantang Gloomy Sunday. Ito ang Fact on Track sa podcast. So obviously, sobrang dark nung uh, yung my way ano, medyo medyo nakakatawa pa ng konte yung reasoning bakit may mga nagaganap na patayan. Actually, worldwide ano, alam ng buong mundo na Dito sa Pilipinas, may mga occurrences na napapatay dahil sa kantang My Way. Pero hindi ko lang alam sa ang contest dito, kung sa ang contest yun na may nanalo na ang winning song niya ay My Way. 
Okay, so yung contest na yon is X Factor Israel. Yun yung winning song nung nanalo doon. And and pinay ang kumanta nung kanta na yon. So for that Filipino singer Okay, on its own no, kung titingnan mo siya in a beautiful perspective, on a, on a lighter perspective. Kung titingnan mo yung kantang My Way, it actually speaks na I did this. Nagawa ko siya. I made it. Yun yung, yun yung gustong iparating siguro ng pagkakasulat ni Paul Angka. Pero yun nga dahil nga minsan may mga naririnde dahil wala sa tono or nga lasing talaga. Yung ganun nga rin. Well, for the case of Gloomy Sunday, it's just flat out dark. That's just how I describe that song. Flat out dark. Ano? Ha? Huh? So, I don't recommend na i-search yun. Pero, 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 kung matapang ka, kung matapang, kung hindi, kung hindi ka mahina, kung hindi mahina ang loob mo, eh, it's up to you. Kung matapang ka ha, kung matapang ka, but if I were you, no, don't please. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating episode, Mangyari lamang na i-like nyo ang ating Facebook page podcast ni Manz para masundan natin ang mga susunod na episodes. And mangyari na rin na i-subscribe, mag-subscribe tayo sa ating YouTube channel na podcast ni Manz para updated din tayo sa mga bagong release. Also, bukas sa GPS Podcast, tayo ay tutungo sa Timog Katagalugan. Dahil di umano, may isang bundok na misteryoso dahil di umano yung sino. Pa. Ang bundok na ito ay tinawag na Devil's Mountain. Saan kaya yun? Hmm. Abangan bukas sa ating part 4 ng ating curse series ngayong Halloween sa GPS Podcast. So, so mangyari, kung kayo ay interesado, mangyari din na uh, i-follow ang ating Instagram page podcast ni Mans para tayo updated sa mga recent releases natin. And, sa so, and maaari nyo rin akong i-follow sa aking mga social sa Twitter and Instagram both at senior at SNR MLNC so yun lamang para sa ating episode ngayon ng Facon Check sa podcast God bless everyone God bless the Philippines purihin po ang Panginoon and stay tuned sa ating last episode books <laughs>